So, you want to go upstairs? Sure. Great. Go. Hey, Justin, I wanted to introduce you to Kira. She's the one who brought four loose Sierra Nevadas. Kira! You totally rock for bringing those. Peter! What the hell is going on? Oh, dude, is that your mom? No, I'm not his mom, you little bastard. That little bastard knows how to smoke pot out of an apple. All right, everyone out of here. I've had enough of this Justin nonsense. Tomorrow, we're going to City Hall to legally change your name back to Peter. All right, fine. But I gotta say, being Justin was quite an adventure. Like when I found where the wild things were. Hello, my name is Glenn Quagmire. I am a neighbor of yours on Spooner Street. I am here to inform you that I am a sex offender. Seems as though you could have had some of that memorized. Glenn, what the hell's going on? It turns out that girl I took home from Peter's party last night is in high school. Oh, my God. Does this mean you're going to move to Europe to make movies? How in the world did you not know she was underage? Well, in retrospect, she did ask a lot of questions about To Kill a Mockingbird. Should have sent her my way. I love that book. Oh, Gregory Peck. Whew. Anyway, now I gotta go in front of a judge. Really? Number one or number two? Our judicial system is so broken. No, Peter. Glenn has to go to court. That's right. And there's not even a defense for statutory rape. Once the girl proves her age, that's it. You're guilty. You know what I tried today? A fig. I have a hearing tomorrow morning. I may have to go to jail. My only hope for leniency is to bring in character witnesses and show the court I'm not the monster they say I am. Well, Peter would be happy to support you. Yeah, you betcha, Quagmire. I'm very persuasive. That's why I was so good at selling low-cost car insurance. I can't believe Quagmire and that girl had sex. Which is hugging someone really hard with your legs. Nope. Well, you'll tell me if I get it, though, right? Yeah, I'll tell you if you get it. Okay, I'm gonna get it. Now, Mr. Griffin, I understand you're here to speak on Mr. Quagmire's behalf. That's right, Your Honor. And as we know, according to Game of Thrones, if the girl has had her blood, she is good to go. Has the girl had her blood? Answer the question. Mr. Griffin, she was underage. Yes, however, Mr. Quagmire was born on February 29th. Ergo, he's only 12. Ergo, the girl raped him. Argo, Ben Affleck. Mr. Griffin, do you have any evidence that is not based on film or television? I don't know. Why don't you ask all these letters to Santa Claus? Something's going on. We haven't gotten mail in a week. I, I haven't gotten mail in a week. Nobody writes you. Officer Swanson, I'll remind you that you are under oath. Now, please tell us what Mr. Quagmire said he did with the girl. <sighs> he, uh, said he gave her a frosty gym. And can you please explain to the courtroom what a Frosty Jim is? Uh... Sir, you're under oath. Well, it's when you urinate in a condom and tie it off, freeze it, and then the woman, um, pretends it's a man. Thank you. He's a good... I owe you, Max. You led me right to him. All right, now help me grind their horns into boner pills. Kira, that was an amazing night. Sorry I can't drive you to work. I gotta go sit in my den until you leave. Oh, that's okay. I'll just take the school bus. Wait, what? You, you drive a school bus? <laughs> no, silly. I take the bus. I'm in high school. What the hell? You said you were 23! Yeah, and you said you love me. Well, I guess you got me there. Hey, Quagmire, sorry to bother you, but we're following up on a tip. Did you have sex with this underage girl? I don't want to go to jail, but I really want to take credit. Quagmire, I'm afraid you're under arrest for statutory rape. Uh, all right, but let me just send the pictures I took of her last night to all my friends. Oh, yeah! Boom! You're disgusting. Take them away. We've got all the awesome evidence.